Alright boys, so here we are. Today, we're going over the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're going to go through their uh, record. And we're going to surmise who and what they're going to be. I think they're going to be very formidable. I don't think they're going to be as good as last year because they're, they're losing their offensive coordinator. That's a big deal. Every time we see an offensive coordinator leave a team, the team always takes some drop off. Whether it's a little bit or a lot, they're going to take a little bit of a drop off. Their offensive coordinator is now the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. So it's going to be a little different. Eric Sirianni is not as good a play caller. We don't even know if he's a good head coach. So we're about to find that out this year. But the first game of the year, I'm going to give this to them for the dub against the Patriots week one. And then week two, let's take a look. They play Minnesota. Let's look at Minnesota's depth chart. So they got Kirk Cousins. They lost out on uh, Dalvin Cook. Now they got Madison, who's actually a bigger version of him. They got Justin Jefferson, Jalen Rager from the Eagles, but he hasn't really done much of anything. Addison, Osborne. So they, they're lacking at receiver. They lost Thielen. Hawkinson's okay. C.J. Ham's a decent fullback. I'll give you that. Ezra, Cleveland, and Bradbury are probably their best linemen. Everyone else, good luck with that. But Ezra is really good. He's a really like quick guard. Like he's really good on his feet. He really can get outside and give you protection on uh, tosses, run plays. He's good in the pass as well. Bradbury's okay. Now their defense was not good last year at all, and they lost more players. Daniil Hunter's good. Jordan Hicks has been around a long time, like a long time, over ten years. I want to say at least ten years. Marcus Davenport. Is this the guy from... If this is the guy from the Saints... Hold on, let me click on him. If this is the Saints guy, then he's pretty decent. But I don't think it is. I think Saints kept their Davenport. I could be wrong. Let me just double check. Nope. I think this is the Saints guy. Marcus Davenport. He was pretty good. If this is the guy I'm thinking of... 2018. Yeah, I think this is the guy from the Saints, guys. Marcus Davenport can play. I'll give you that. I'll definitely give you that. Green Bay. Oh, no. he No, it's not. I just looked at He played on different teams. It's a different Davenport. Because the Davenport I'm thinking of, he's an outside rusher guy. So, yeah, this guy's an inside backer. Or is it a Sam? No, it's a Sam linebacker. So, yeah, it could be him. I'm going to look this up because this is bothering me. Marcus Davenport. Give me a second, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Marcus. Marcus Davenport. Yeah. Yeah, this is the guy that was on the Saints, guys. So the Saints gave up on him. Now he's on Minnesota. He's a damn good player. I'll give you that. But you're going to need more than him. But you got him and Daniel Hunter coming at you, so that's pretty decent. But you don't have good D tackles, that's the problem. And then uh, Tonga's okay, but I'm not going to write home about him. Harrison Smith's okay, but he's getting up there in age. Cam Bynum was a corner last year, so they moved him to safety. Byron Murphy was on the Cardinals. So, yeah, I don't think this team's going to be good next year, guys. I don't. I think they got worse. This is probably going to be like an 8-8 eight eight team. If we're being honest. But I'm going to give the dub to the Eagles. Because they're just a better team. Through and through. Then they play the Buccaneers. Let's take a look at the Buccaneers. <clears throat> Rasta. Just to see what it looks like. Because I'm not sure who left and who stayed. So I want to see who Baker Mayfield is going to be throwing to. Because we haven't actually like dug into that. Like really at all. We've just gone surface level with that. Which is fine. But. Let's see what's going on. So, okay. Baker Mayfield. Rashad White. I guess they drafted this guy. Chase Edmonds from the Cardinals. Okay. So, they got two decent running backs. They still got their receivers, guys. So, they got Mike Evans, Godwin. And they still got Russell Gage. But a tight end. They don't have their tight end anymore. I don't know 
what this Kate Otten is. Durham is actually, I think this is a 6'8 guy. Payne Durham, I think he's a, a tall, big target. I don't know about this Cade guy. Unless he, they could have drafted him. So if this is a draft pick, I uh, I wish him the best. Tristan Wirfs is probably the best left tackle in the league. Ryan Jensen's probably the best center in the league. And then after that, they don't really have a good old line. They did when Brady was there, but <laughs> their left guard, their right tackle, and their right guard are all left. So good luck to you for there. Vita Vey is good, I'll give you that. And that's the only good D lineman you have. Now linebackers, Devin White, Levante David, Shaquille Barrett. So these three are good. So you got four out of the seven on your front seven are good players. Jameel Dean's all right. Ryan Neal is from the Seahawks. He's really good. Winfield's good. Carlton Davis, he's, a, he's all right. So this is an okay team. This team has a chance to win the division. It's just... A, a matter of how is Baker Mayfield going to play. He's not going to be as good as Tommy. Like, we all, like, come on, guys. He's, if he is, then that's just what the NFL wanted. But I doubt it. I just I just can't see him doing better than Tommy. And will he beat the Eagles? It's possible. It's possible. I'm, I'm just thinking for a second. They're going to be in Tampa. It's a Monday night game, 7-15. I think Tampa can win this game. Because everyone's going to pick the Eagles, I think. You're going to have a slew of people picking the Eagles. For good reason. The Eagles are really good, but Seriani's not going to be with his offensive coordinator. It's going to be a new coach. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we already looked at the Eagles team. We don't got to look at them again. Uh, I'm going to take Tampa here, guys. I think Tampa will win this game. Because only because of how the bets will be. Everyone's going to pick the Eagles. So I'm going to give the Eagles an L. And they're not going to win every single game, guys. It's impossible. Like, if we're really being honest, it's impossible for the Eagles to win every single game that they play. Uh, so we'll give them that. And then they go play Washington. We already know they have no quarterback. That's a W. Then they're going to play the Rams. We saw the Rams are lacking as well. So uh, I think the Eagles can get that done as well. So we'll give them the W there. Looks like the Eagles have the sixth ranked ranked schedule. I just checked right now. I'll I'll have that on the uh, what do you call it the uh, thumbnail. So then they go play the Jets. I'll reference and see who I had winning this game. I think I might have had the Jets winning. Nope, I had the Jets losing. I had the Jets losing this game, so that's a win for the Eagles. Uh, let me just make sure this downloaded. Of course it didn't. Alright, so we got that. Then they go play Miami. Let me reference over to that. Miami against the Eagles. I had the Eagles beating them too. So that's a W right there. Then they're going to go play Washington and that's a W. Then they play the Cowboys. I had the Cowboys losing the first time so that's another win. Then they play the Chiefs. I think I had the Chiefs winning but I could be wrong. Let's double check. Nope, I had the Chiefs losing because they, because usually that's how they do it. They have the uh, defending champs lose and the runner-up win in the regular season to give them the payback. Then they play the Bills. Bills, Eagles. I had the Bills losing to the Eagles. Wow, so that means the Eagles just wiped out that whole uh, AFC East division, in my opinion. Then they play the 49ers. They already trounced them, but like I said, the payback, they always give the other team payback. It's, I don't think the Eagles are worse, but I think that's how the NFL works. They're going to give the 49ers their payback, and they're just due. So that's why I'm going to give this to the 49ers. So that's an ale. Two ales for the Eagles. And we looked at the Niners roster yesterday. So Then they play the Cowboys. I had the Cowboys winning this matchup. 
So that's an L, two L's in a row. Then they play the Seahawks. Let's actually take a look at the Seahawks roster because I don't think we actually have a reference. Seahawks, Seattle. I don't think we have a, a single reference of what they could look like. So let's let's be a little responsible here. If it ever loads up. All right, so here we go. Ah. All right, so Gino, we know that. Kenneth Walker, great year last year. DK Lockett, we know about that. And Jigba. Oh, this guy was actually good last year. Jackson and Jigba, I remember this guy. He was actually good last year. Noah Fant is more of a blocker. Disley's a receiver guy. Fant's okay. Ballor's all right. Uh, Damon, Damian Lewis is good. And Charles Cross. So everyone else is kind of speculative. Abraham Lucas is okay. I'll give you that. Uh, Draymond Jones. I don't know who that is. Jerron Reed is a big boy. That's a big, big boy. Uh, let's see. Jordan Brooks is okay. Bobby came back. And Wosu. Witherspoon. Jamal. Tariq Woolen. Uh, Quadron Diggs. So it's a decent defense. They brought Jamal Adams back. His defense is not bad. I mean, definitely not bad. I wish they kept Ryan Neal, but you can't keep everyone. I get it. This this is going to be a good game. Where are they playing? If they're playing in Seattle, I'm going to give this to Seattle, guys, in a good game. So that's an L for the Eagles. Then they play the Giants. And they're playing at home. And take the Eagles here with the dub. Then they play the Cardinals. It's another dub. Then they play the Giants at New York. Did we even look? Yeah, we looked at the Giants roster. It's really nothing special at all. So, uh, knowing that, I think we got to give this to the Eagles as well. Looks like the Eagles are going to have another damn good year. Even with the coaching problems. W. But honestly, they'll probably lose one of the games to the Bills, Giants, and Dolphins. Like, I kind of went crazy with that. They're going to lose one of those three games. They're going to beat the Patriots. But between the Bills, Dolphins, and Jets, they're going to lose one of those three games. Like, they can easily win all three, but... I'm, I'm saying right now they're going to lose one of those three. The only reason I'm not doing it now is because I already have it sketched in. So I don't want to destroy my whole board. But they, they easily... Because they're going to play the Jets and Dolphins back-to-back. -back. They're going to give two great swings. One of those teams are going to win that week. And then they're going to play the Chiefs and then the Bills. They're going to lose one of those two games, if not both. So... Add three or four losses to whatever I record I give them. Because I was very, very generous right now. Like, I think we can all agree I was generous. But here we go. So they have, what, one, two, three, four losses. So what was that, 13 and four? Or is it? Yeah, 13. One, two, four losses. Yeah, 13 and four. But like I said, they could be 15 or it could be 11 wins. But uh, I think they're going to lose more than that, though. I think they'll probably have more like closer to 11, 12 wins. But either way, they're going to win their division. The Eagles are going to win their division regardless. But I just don't know if they're going to sweep that whole division like that. I just don't think it's going to happen. It's a tough division. I also had them beating the Chiefs, Bills, and Niners. Well, no, I had them losing to the Niners. But I had the Chiefs and Bills. I had them beating the Chiefs and Bills. So that's that's very generous of me because the Chiefs can easily beat them like they did in the Super Bowl. And the Bills can beat them as well because they play kind of the same way. And then you have the Jets-Dolphins who also are very formidable. So that's four games right there, guys, that... Easily can shape their schedule. 
So they could be 13 and 4, or they can be 9 and what, 7, or whatever it would be, 9 and 8. So Eagles have a tough schedule for sure, but I gave them the benefit of the doubt because of how good they were last year. That could all change, though. Like I said, they lost their offensive coordinator. Don't think that it's going to be clear-cut like last year, man. Like Things change in a year. Like I said, there are six new playoff teams every year. So don't think that every everything's going to play out the same way it did last year. It's very, very rare that that happens, guys. So just be careful. And also, thanks for watching. And we'll do the Giants and then the uh, Washington Commanders next. And then we'll move on to the next division. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.